Oh, this uh, Brittany Griner trade for that arms dealer scares the shit out of me. Man, you know what's funny? Oh. So I had one pa- <laughs> I had one passive under I had like one understanding of it <clears throat> where I'm like, oh. So she broke a rule. The rule seems like not that big of a deal. It's nothing. But, you know, as my friend Chris recently said, <laughs> rules is rules. So she she breaks a rule. And I'm like, holy shit, they're really like using her as a political pawn. Yeah. And then they get her back with an arms dealer, trade an arms dealer. And you wonder about whether that's an asymmetrical, somehow an asymmetrical trade. But I don't know. I don't even know what's going on. And then you, and then you just, it's kind of like, oh, glad, glad she's back. And then you, and then talk about the outrage machine. Then you read like a narrative that'd be like, uh, we traded uh international arms dealer what's his nickname dr death or some shit merchant of death merchant of death for a dope smoker we didn't get the marine back the person didn't want the national anthem played at their games right and you go like oh there's a there's a narrative that i you know i mean yeah there's like a well-crafted narrative that i didn't put together have you ever seen russia's take on it no oh my god it's it's kind of crazy because it turned out that they offered one or the other. They offered either Paul Whelan, who oh, was the really? Marine. Yeah. Or the, that's what that's what they're the saying. Was, yeah. Well, that's what NBC was saying as well. And then they really? they redacted it and changed their story. But yeah, that's oh. supposedly it was a one versus one. You could pick which one. And in Russia, there there's this uh, political show, sort of like a Fox News type show. Where they're making, see if you can find it, Jamie. I'll, I'll send huh. it to you if you yeah, do. Do you know what it is? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm trying to pull it up. It's just not the links. Not so there. the um, in this uh, thing, they're just completely mocking. Like, well, he's one. You know, she. Uh, he has one thing going against him. He is a man, and also, you know, he is white. Like here, meanwhile in Russia, top state propagandists reveal the narrative they'll be pushing to harm Biden and enrage Americans about the exchange of Brittany Griner for Victor Bout. By falsely claiming that it wasn't Russia's decision to oppose Whelan's release as opposed to Griner. So it's hard to say. Um, she, This person who's saying this is saying that uh, it was Russia's decision to oppose Whelan's release, who they think was spying. Um, I don't know if he was or wasn't. He may have been. May have uh, been arrested for espionage. But see if you can find the video because well, it's it's, it's going to be in Russian. So they, they don't have it. Um, <laughs> no, but it's um, you see the um, translation. Right. Well, people are listening now. Yeah, we'll translate it. He's got a great okay. point, Joe. Yeah, he does. Uh, so of course, I was very <laughs> amused, but not surprised <laughs> that bout was exchanged for Griner and not Whelan. First of all, I congratulate Bout and his entire family. For many years, we have been in touch with his family and with him personally to the extent it was possible. We communicated with him to the extent that we could. Of course, this is a huge joy and relief for all of us. I can't even imagine. I can't say anymore, Jamie. You touched it. Just go uh, full screen. That's what I was trying uh, okay. but, but he was not exchanged for the heroic spy because he is a spy. Whelan is a spy. He was apprehended while receiving information on a flash drive. He said he was supposed to get photos of churches and Sergei Posad on a flash drive. You send the church photos to WhatsApp, right? That's where we get them. Look where I've been. You don't, uh, quality would be decent, no worse than on a flash drive. He is a spy, therefore, to them, he is a hero. He's a hero, decorated Marine, covered in medals. He only has one, no two, no three problems. His first problem is he is white. Second problem is he is a man. Third problem, he is a heterosexual. And they're laughing. This is not something that can be forgiven today. It's just a catastrophe. Yet here, Griner beats him in every aspect. American voters were given a choice. A hero who suffered while serving his fatherland. A metal-covered hero who's covered, who has suffered during his service to his fatherland, the United States, or a black lesbian hooked on drugs, oh Jesus, who suffered for a vape with hashish. 
and well known for the sake of PR. American voters are choosing the obvious. I think for us, it's one of one more piece of good news. First good news is that Bout has returned. And the second good news is that a nation that spits on its heroes to the extent that it considers it significantly more important to free a rightly charged, well-known athlete. She didn't suffer because she served her motherland, but because she couldn't live for 10 hours without her hashish instead of freeing that person in prison for two years for serving his motherland. This says a lot about the state of this society. So this is just like basically Fox News in Russia. Huh. They're t you know, they're, it's obviously a very propaganda driven show but you have to that's like that's the thing about russia like you can't have a show that shits all over the government in russia you could never have like when msnbc was mocking openly mocking trump and you know cnn was constantly talking about trump and it was jacking up their ratings that's like not even possible in russia yeah you, you can't have a show like that the ruskies be all over your ass oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, you could never have a society like this. This is what people don't understand when they try to impose censorship. It goes all the way through. You will eventually get to a point where it's only state-sanctioned information that's allowed to be distributed if you allow censorship. Mm -hmm. Because they've already shown that the government is deeply embedded in social media. And they, they this is one of the things that's most disturbing about these revelations about whether it's the FBI or whatever intelligence agencies were behind s censoring certain people off of Twitter and removing certain people off of Twitter and re removing certain narratives and certain stories like the Hunter Biden laptop story. Yeah. If you support that because it fits with your ideology, ultimately you support government control over a narrative. And that is it's going to go the other way if a Republican gets in office. Then you're going to de deal with a, a similar problem. Imagine if there's... Imagine if instead of Hunter Biden's laptop, it was Donald Trump Jr.'s laptop. Mm -hmm. And Donald Trump Jr.'s laptop, he's getting f foot jobs by prostitutes and smoking street oh, dude, crack they in Vietnam. <laughs> yeah. You think they would have censored that off of Twitter? Holy shit, man. Do you no, think they would have censored no. that off of Twitter and said, we can't verify the information? We don't know whether or not it's true. No. It has all the earmarks of Russian disinformation. It's not a fucking chance in hell. That's the problem. Like, the truth dies with censorship. Like you, you don't get a chance to sort out what's real and what's not. The government gets to decide for you. And if you ultimately believe in censorship and you ultimately believe in censoring the people that have opinions that disagree with your own, that's where this goes. This goes to fascism.